In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a report in Movicon Next. So I've got a data logger that's running every 10 seconds and putting data into my SQL database. But I want to create a report so I can display this data. So I'm going to come over to reports first. I'm going to click new. And it's going to create me an empty new report. Now we need to add a data source for our SQL. So I'm going to come up to the top to the home ribbon, click on add data source. And as we can see, we've got lots of options. This is because the reporting tool in Movicon Next allows us to connect to many different data sources. This can be really useful if we want to pull in from different systems into one report. So I'll hit database and hit next. I want to specify the connection parameters myself. That's localhost, and my particular server is SQL Express. I'm going to use Windows Authentication because we're on the same machine. And I'm just going to find my database. And I'm going to hit Next. And it's going to give me the option here to tell it what tables, views, stored procedures or queries I want to use. I actually just want to go into tables and pick up my DL 10 seconds, which is from my data logger. I'm going to go ahead now and hit finish. So now we've added the data source. Let's look at the formatting of the report. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a report header. This will appear only once in the report and this will be our header information. So the title, an image, things like that. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to insert band and I want to insert a report header. I then want to add an image in. Click the settings button. Select the image source. And then I've got the sizing as well to say zoom image to fit it to the box. I'm going to go ahead and pop a label in and change the text to say this is my sample report. Now I want to increase the text and change the font. So to do that with it selected, I come back up to my home. I'm going to make my text about 22 and I want to use Calibri my font. I'll open this up. I'm going to align its center and just get it out there. That's perfect for what I want. I also am going to insert a page footer because I want to see what the page numbers are. I'm going to put page info just into there as well. Bring that up. Make this section a little smaller. And now I'm going to add a page header just so I can have all of my headings for the table I'm going to put into detail. So I'm going to insert a table. And again, I'm going to change the font. And I'm going to change it to 0.10. I'm going to increase the size. And just change the headings to relate. So I'm going to have my time and date, or my date and time. I know that in my table I've got a ramp and a random. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this 
and paste it into my detail band and that's purely so everything matches up. I'll bring this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it past the bottom of the box and it automatically snaps to the bottom of the table. I'll do the same with this. It'll snap back. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over and actually put in the fields. I'm going to come over to my field list on the right hand side, find my SQL data source, open it up, find the table, and then bring over the columns I want. So UTC time column, and I'm just going to drag and drop it. As you can see, it's going green. I'm going to bring my ramp over. And I'm going to bring my random over. I'm going to save all now. And what we can do when we're developing our report is we can come over to preview up here to see what it's going to look like. Now we can see there's no data. That's because I've added the data source, but I forgot to set the detail source. So come back to detail. And actually set it to be SQL data source one. Now let's come over to preview, and we can see all the data has now been added into the report. Now, if I want to now, I can actually go ahead and put some borders around, and I can set the border color. So if I wanted to, right light grey border, click to put it all the way around. Now on a preview, I can see everything's been popped into a box. So now let's add this on and we'll call this from Movicon. So I'm going to save all and close this down. I'm going to open the screen I want to call from. Another really good practice is when it's created the report, we can see it's just incremented it to the next empty report number. You can rename it to give it something useful. So I want to call mine sample report. This just makes life much easier for when you're trying to find which report you want to call. So now I'm going to add a button onto the screen. So I'm going to go into toolbox, find a button, a standard button. a little bigger and then I'm just going to put some text on it of open report make that a little bigger just so you can see it and now we're going to come down to commands open reports and we've got the option here of which report we want so I'm going to select my sample report and I've got the option what we want to do with it. Now I'm going to do a show report, which is going to display in a box onto screen. We also have the option to print it, bring a print dialog, save it or actually send it. And the send we can do via email. But in this example, we're just going to show it. We're not passing any parameters. So we come back we hit save all. Now if we run this report right now what's going to happen is it's going to open up full screen with no control box so we're going to be unable to close it once we're done. So what we need to do is come over to the report over to properties and then we've got the window state and the window style. So I want to say open normal with a single border window. So what that's going to do is open it in the center of the screen with a border that with an X in the corner. So let's save this now and let's run it. So now we're going to navigate to our logger page. I'm going to hit open report. And there we have our sample report formatted nicely with our company logo on and our data complete with the page numbers. And that's how you create a basic report in Movicon Next.
Thanks for watching.